Here we have a toy pistol. Um, ammunition would be loaded into the magazine of such a gun in the handle and this handle grip has a ridged pattern. If this part of the gun was used to strike a person, like pistol whipping, it might cause a variety of injuries including a patterned injury. The muzzle end of this handgun has a variety of shaped components including a circular barrel, the front sight at the top of the slide and a rounded receiver under the barrel. In some circumstances these components might also contribute to a patterned injury. So let's think about what happens when a gun like this is fired. When a round of ammunition is chambered, pulling the trigger causes the firing pin to strike the cartridge case base, the bullet is fired, the cartridge ejected and another cartridge is chambered. This slow motion video clip of a revolver firing illustrates what comes out of the end of the barrel. We can see a flash of flame, a large volume of expanding hot gases, soot, unburned propellant and of course a bullet. Each component might affect the appearance of the wound caused by such a weapon and their presence or absence can be useful in determining how far from the body the weapon was fired, that's its range of fire. And this next video clip of a Glock pistol firing illustrates the movement of the slide in relation to the barrel, the ejection of a spent cartridge and the return of the slide resulting in another round of ammunition being chambered. If we look now at a round of ammunition, this is a 9mm handgun round which has a brass cartridge case and a bullet in the end. If we look at the base of the cartridge case, we can see a central firing pin impression because this round has already been fired. The cartridge base has a primer within it and the remainder is filled with a propellant which will be ignited by the primer. This cutaway illustration shows these components more clearly. So the bullet comes out of the end of the barrel and we can see marks on the sides of this bullet which are impressions made by the rifling of the barrel of the gun. A rifling represents channels which are cut into the barrel forming grooves which are separated by lands and these impart spin on the bullet to give it stability in flight and improve accuracy. And here we see a photograph of such spiral rifling marks in the barrel of a handgun. This fired bullet has retained impressions made by rifling. These can be important ballistic evidence as their configuration can be used by ballistic experts to compare the fired bullet, which you've recovered from your patient, with test ammunition fired from a suspect gun. Now this is a distorted bullet which has already struck something hard and we can see damage to the outer copper jacket and exposure of the lead core. This bullet is in the center of the photograph and can be compared with that on the left which has some minor damage at the base and that on the right which you've already seen. So how would you classify injuries caused by guns and what terms would you use to describe those injuries?